Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. But love. Got to do. Got to do with it, baby. Love. So many things I've got to tell you. But I'm afraid I don't know how. Because it's a possibility to look at me differently. Love. Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs. I look around me and I see it isn't so. What's wrong with that? I'd like to know. Cause here I go again I love you Love is all we need To make everything complete All we need is a love -y -love. I'm no Mary J Love can be on the streets. Love is hard to see. Gotta reach that frequency. Loving you is loving me. Mary sang a song about it. Having broad limits in the day of life. It's the scrimmage. Reminiscing on letters I wrote in my small days. A letter to the people love always. Yeah. What needs now is love, sweet love. Not just for some, but for everyone. Hello Earthlings, welcome back to my channel, the only Lauren channel. I'm your host, Lauren. So what is love? We'll get into that in a moment in my very own special Valentine's Day special. They say it's a neural chemical con job. But I believe those are the words of the pessimist or maybe the words of the realist, to be honest. Let's get into it. Wikipedia says that love encompasses a range of strong and positive emotional states and mental states. Most commonly, love refers to attraction, emotional attachment. This just means love is varied and complex. Take a look at how the ancient Greek philosophers defined their version of love. Five forms. Familial, familial love, also known as storge, storge. Family love, also known as platonic love. Alia, romantic love. Eros. Guest love, Xenia, and divine love, agape. Different cultures have many different ways of describing love as well as ancient Greek philosophers. Famil familial, I cannot say that word. Familial love is a natural and instinctual love from parent to offspring and back again. So, a parent has a child, and that child loves them, and they love that child. Obviously, the love you have for your family. I never understood why family stays together and they love each other. But what I think is, in essence, you love yourself because or you love your family because you love yourself because your family shares the same DNA as you. So this person who's a part of you, you love and they love you. Friendly love, AKA platonic love, is a close relationship that is non-romantic, much like me and you. Named after Plato who came up with the concept, they said he never actually used the word himself and why would he because that just means you've got a big ego oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
Many of us love our friends because they ride the same frequency as us. Sometimes in a way which family cannot. That's just how it is. Love, Eros. Most of us know about and most of us think of when we think of love. It's a passionate love. Um, erotic, which is derived from Eros, which is also thought of as life and energy. And I do believe I was talking about that when I was talking about excited and arousal. And you know, I should talk about energy level states um, because I have some research on Eros is a is a um, is a desire that causes sexual feelings. It can be very complex to say the least. The only love that includes this includes sexual desires of an individual, or at least it should. Guest love, also known as hospitality, between a guest and his host. The host receives the guest goodwill, reception of the guest, the entertainment um, for visitors and strangers. This is like the love you have for a celebrity. I know a lot of times we think it's like unnatural when we love a celebrity. It's like a cross between a friend love and this guest love. This person is entertaining you and um, like maybe in your home and you feel a, a feeling of affection in a non creepy, sometimes sexual, sometimes way, you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's, the, it's like the love you have for a celebrity. You know how we felt when Kobe died. Divine love, also known as agape love, is supposed to be the highest form of love one can express to the world. Charity, the love for humankind. Aquarius. Just kidding, I think it actually would be like Aquarius or Pisces or something. We a call to action. For example, you wouldn't kill anyone, you wouldn't cause them harm. My son is on that causing of the harm. But, um, or you wouldn't harm animals unless you're obviously eating them or you wouldn't harm plants unless you're eating them, you vegans. Nothing but plant harmers. Mm -mm. God is love. I like to think of that as self-love because God is within us and we are God. Or are we dogs? Dog is God backwards. God. But a bog is a is a fog. Whether well, it's fog and a bog. And sometimes you might see a log. And then you have to jog over. So here's some of my recommendations and tips to spread love to yourself and your lover this Valentine's Day. Number one, clean your house, okay? Don't organize and clean at the same time. This is, this is, gets frustrating. This might bog your mind down. Sometimes have someone, one of your family members come in and clean up like wipe things down, um, pick up sediments, that type of thing, okay? Next thing you wanna do is you want to cook yourself a very sexy meal. I personally like to start cooking one meal three days in advance. You can ask anyone who knows me, it takes me forever. The garnish is up and Put them in a bowl. Make sure I don't cut myself. I like to talk to them and sing to them and tell them 
You're gonna make this food taste really amazing. My hands after each task, E. coli. Then I put it all in the crock pot and that's one portion of the entire meal. And then I take that out, then put that in the bowl, then put it in, in the refrigerator. Then I start the other portion of cooking the other side dishes in that crock pot. And you wanna do this over a period of a week. That's how you make it taste good. It's, it, means, it means you put love in the food. Put love in it. You gotta love yourself. You gotta love your sing before you love somebody else. So the next thing is that you want to do for yourself love Valentine's Day first. Okay. Um next you're gonna light some candles and turn on your humidifier. You're gonna get in a scalding hot bubble bath. I love the sun songs. Loving every minute cause you make me feel so alive. Alive. Oh wait, I forget you guys' favorite Empire of the Sun song is Walking on a Dream. It's a great anthem to be where we come from. Um, sit in a tub. And scrub with coffee, you know, scrub with coffee. You're gonna get all in here, you know, get on your boobies on your back. Well, if you have boobies, we all have tatas. So get behind your ears and then, you know, unplug the tub, obviously, and rinse off in the shower. If you have, actually, you're gonna wanna take a, um, a spray solution with dish soap in it, you can spray the tub so you don't have to clean all that up. It cleans itself. Towel down gently. Then put on your favorite body butter and body oil. This is what I'm currently using. I like to use stuff that smells like fruit and that is ayurvedic and has minimal um ingredient i mean not want to say minimal ingredients but minimal chem chemicals you want to use like something like this is this from aveda i have no idea how aveda still stays open because i see no one shop there but i don't shop there really honestly and this is the, the, it smells so good. It's beautifying oil. You put it on. You smell amazing. Do a test. Do you smell really good? Do you feel really soft? If not, go back. Start over. Put some coconut oil in your butt crack. Put on your favorite lingerie lingerie if you if you can't catch it, or your favorite boxers if you're a dude or maybe if you're not a dude. Or your onesie, if you like onesies, those are pretty cool too, pretty sexy. Then you wanna put your robe over that to stay relaxed for the night, okay? Cause there's more to be done. You, then you're gonna wanna roll your face with a jade or quartz roller and gua sha. I prefer quartz, but right now I have to use jade. Quartz is like the pink one. And I think they also have um, like Epson, Ambition, whatever. It's like a black stone, but this is real. Use that all over your face. Brush your hair. Lastly, you're going to want to put on some twerk music and you're gonna go twerk in the mirror. Look at your body, all the angles, admire yourself and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to get it. See it's work, get up. Your one week dinner, enjoy yourself. Do not get in the bed and eat. Go to the table. And read a book. Hope you got it from the library for free. And go to bed. There's nothing much to that. If you have a partner, 
you're going to want to rinse and repeat. So, in the bathtub, put them in the tub and cleanse them really well. Make sure you scrub that back. Okay, roll their face. Make sure you roll their face the same way you rolled your face, roll their face, but you want to do it more furiously because sometimes if you have like a male partner, like a lot of us ladies do, um, they do not do the same things to themselves that we do to themselves. So roll furiously. You check for like any boogers, any earwax, put some coconut oil in the ear balls. So that it cleans itself and just make sure also to <laughs> for them you can still use body butters but um i do recommend using um varied essential oils so not just your you know beauty oil but like essential different essential oils to rub on your mate put on your nightgowns and you dance in the mirror Y'all dance in the mirror with each other. Get it. That is the most important part. Get it. And then to add a little something different than before. A little something extra. Have them lay their head in your lap. You're going to want to stroke their hair. Just like a pony. And that way they can know how much you truly love them and then um what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to like blow real hard on the ear so here's the demonstration <sighs> yeah i don't know why people do that i just know you're supposed to do it to someone that you like and there is no need for intercourse for tonight leave it all for another time. Let's just do romance tonight. That's pretty much it. If you or things have any tips on what to do extra for you and your partner or for you and yourself on Valentine's Day, please drop them below in the comment section so I can know like, oh, you know, what could I do for my stuff love routine and my other routine? Um, because I honestly wouldn't change them. I would keep them the same. And I hope you learned a lot about love. Um, this was basically, I almost feel like a cut and paste from Wikipedia. I know about love already. And, um, if you need to find the etymology of the word love, like, that's an easy thing to do. You don't, you don't need me for that. So anyway like and subscribe and share this video and please buy, buy my book quintessence on amazon and subscribe to my patreon or you know yeah subscribe to my patreon because Bye.